Hello and welcome to Acrylicodes channel. Today I will show you the main technique of how to transition between two sops. The shape will morph from this to this. This is a simple example, but once you have the hang of it, you can get creative and use it on other shapes. Let's start from scratch. Here I have an empty touch designer project. I will start by closing the palette, dividing the screen. I will select top viewer. Right click to unselect backdrop tops. I will create an out top and turn the display on. Next, I'll go to Sops and select Sphere to create my spherical shape. Next, I will right click at this little space here to attach the noise to the sphere. I will click at the space on the noise window and attach a transform. I want the sphere to rotate in the Y and Z direction, so I will change both these parameters to the expression apps time dot seconds multiply by 3. Afterwards, I will attach the transform to a null. The null doesn't alter our image. It's only used when making reference to a network, allowing new operators to be added to the network without the need to update the reference. Next, I'll go down here and create a tube shape. I'll click here to attach a twist and set it to bend. I'll select the Y as primary axis and X as secondary axis and set the strength to 100. I will apply a transform to the twist, go back to the transform up here and copy the expression from before and paste it in the Y and Z parameters of the rotation. Lastly, I'll attach a null also down here. I'll go back to the null here on the top and I'll attach a SOP2 and I'll do the same here on the bottom. What this does is automatically transform the SOPs to CHOPs and it's important to do this now because for the next step I want to create a cross and this is only possible for CHOP operators. Next, I'll create the cross and attach this to the cross. Now here we can see that there are here more samples than here. So we need to create more samples the way that I'll do this is I'll create a stretch operator in here and I will change the length scale by dividing these samples by these samples in order to have something dynamic. So I'll put here a Python expression, operator, open brackets, sub to one, close brackets, dot num samples. This will give me the number of samples for the first operator and I will divide it by the same expression except here I'll write sub to two for the number of samples of the second operator. So now we have here the stretch with 600 samples. The cool thing about what we just did is that if I, for example, would create here a box and attach it to the null, we see that the number of samples of the box is only 20, but the expression still stretches the sample number to 600. At last, I'll attach the cross to a null so that I can start with the main. I want to use this data from down here to instance a bunch of boxes. I'll start by creating a box. Next, I'll attach it to a null and attach the null to geometry. And lastly, I hold shift to attach the camera and lights at the same time. Next, I will attach a render top and a transform and will connect the transform to the out. I'll go back to the transform to change the alpha parameter of the background color to 1 and turn on comp over background color. Now I have a black background and my box. Since I want to create a lot of boxes connected with this data, I will go to this geometry, click on instance, turn the instancing on, and then I'll drag and drop this null from here to the translate operator up here, and select tx for translate x, ty for translate y, and tz for translate z. Now we're seeing the boxes are too big, so I'll just go back to the box op and change the size of the boxes. 
I will size down until they look like little spots. Now they are small enough but there are not enough points. To increase the number of points I'll click on the sphere operator, go to detail and increase the number of rows and columns up to 100. Next, I will attach the stretch to the cross and if I click on the cross and move the slider, the shapes morph into each other. This is already looking pretty good, but what I want to do is animate the transition. I've already made from previous projects a custom component and I'll drag it right here. The component is really easy to make, it's just a regular button from the button comp and if I go inside it, it only has a trigger and a lock and the button type is a toggle up. I'll attach the button to a null and make a button viewer active. And what this button does for us is it goes from 1 to 0 and from 0 to 1 and then it stays at 1, which is exactly what we want for the cross. So I click on the cross, go back here to the null, make it viewer active and drag and drop it up here to the cross and select chop reference. So now every time I click on the button, I can transform the shapes. And this was it for this tutorial. You can try to recreate it and also be creative with the shapes you chose in the beginning. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments and consider subscribing to the channel to see more tutorials like this. See you next time. Bye bye!